Hey, Kaiden, how are you? Hello, Maria, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how was your day? Good. Good, I'm thank you. A little busy. A little bit busy, but I like being busy. It, I think it's better when you're busy because the day, for me, when you are busy, goes by so fast. Yeah. And then you feel good and you say, ah, it's great because you don't feel the time. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> good evening, uh, everybody. Good evening. Mm -hmm. So we are ready for today. We are taking a look at today. Um, we're going to continue a little bit about yesterday. Um, yesterday, we remember we were looking at descriptions, okay? And we were looking at specifically uh, vocabulary for behavior and the idea for vocabulary for uh, the way the personalities are, things like this. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to start off by just describing. If you have to describe yourself, if somebody asks you to say, oh, Maria, Karen, Eric, okay, what are you like? Okay, they, they want to know you. What would you say? How is your personality? How, how are you? Well, good evening. Uh, this is Eric. In my case, I will just myself like uh, pragmatic. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I could look like naive because when I don't know much uh, a person, uh, it must uh, the, the person might think that I am naive. But when I get confidence with or I get confidence with them, I became uh, outgoing, and also. I'm also, I'm, uh, let's say, sensible. When I, uh, when I see something that is uh, unfair, I try to get empathy, empathy with that person. Okay, all right. Wow, that's great. Okay, so that's how we have. The, Eric, you said that when you see something that's unfair, you try to get empathy. Mm-hmm. See. Right. Good. It's it's. I try not. It's not get, but it's have. I try to have empathy. Have empathy. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. But very good. Very good. Anybody else? How do you describe yourself? I could say from myself that I am someone who tries to be understanding and and peaceful and open-minded. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Anybody else? How would you describe yourself? Yes, Miriam. Yes, of course. Go ahead, Miriam. I am an outgoing person. Um, I am a sensible person, too. I cry a lot for almost anything. And um, I am. Uh, and um, I'm a really happy person. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So many times we have a lot of different things that we talk about that how we are, or how we describe each other or ourselves. Okay. In the chat of here of this class, not in the chat for WhatsApp, but here I have sent you a, a link where you can look at several different words to describe a person. You can use them to describe yourself or others, okay? You can see that in there we have words that maybe um, you have heard before or maybe are a little bit new, like the word chatty, 
chatty is a synonym of talkative okay and this is good if you're if especially if you're applying or looking for someone for a position with customer service or sales or in this area you need someone with this characteristic right so that's the idea for the different descriptions, okay? Now, if you're looking for something like uh, Eric mentioned, um, uh, I, uh, uh, someone who is working at maybe at an NGO or a, at a, a project where they're looking for human rights or something, then you need somebody with, that is, uh, has empathy, that is, has this characteristic. So many times it's, try not to use the same words because it depends on what position you're applying for or what you are talking about that different characteristics can describe you but are more important than in other situations okay so imagine the case of a, a, a teacher imagine the teacher says oh okay like me and they say hey describe yourself and I say oh okay I'm I'm shy I'm quiet I'm, um, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm individualist. Um, I, well, these are, it's, it's not bad qualities, but it, it's not good for a teacher. I think, I think you need to be communicative. You need to be talkative. You need to be funny. You need to be understanding. And I think one of the most important, you have to have patience, right? So it depends on your position. So what I want you to do is not talk about yourself, but now we're going to talk about professions, different professions, maybe uh, different positions in your company or positions that you want to get or that you know of. And we're going to talk about what type of personality that position requires. So if you need a manager, okay, what kind of position is it? If you need an accountant, what kind of, pers uh, what kind of personality does that person need to have? Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at these different forms, okay, of how should they behave, uh, what should be their personality, okay. For example, I, I know that, a, for example, if I have a computer programmer, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to be talkative. He can be very quiet. He can be shy. He can be mute because he's in front of the computer all day. He's only programming, only, only necessary to have the intelligence to... but. If I have somebody who's going to be working as a receptionist, a front desk agent, a salesperson, a cus or, or a company representative, ah, oh, then you need different personalities, right? Maybe you need somebody who can explain well, like in technical support. Maybe somebody who's good at explanations or uh, at good at doing things, good with their hands. It it depends. So we're going to make small groups, and with the partners, you're going to think of four positions, okay? So as an example, if Maria is my partner, Maria gives me two positions. For example, Maria says, I don't know, Maria, let's give the example. Give me two positions. Positions. Um, or professions. Mm -hmm. A doctor. A doctor, exactly. So Maria says doctor, and I have to give her the personalities. I have to tell her what I think is the, the good or the appropriate personality for this profession. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I give Maria a profession. Maybe I say taxi driver. Oh, I make it difficult. And then Maria has to give me the behaviors or personalities for the taxi driver. This is only going to be five minutes only five minutes because it's only a review from yesterday's vocabulary only a review from the previous for the people that came late in the link in the chat we have a link to help you with more descriptive words okay for those that came late in the chat there is a link to help you with more descriptive personalities okay it's okay, we can make our groups, or do you need an example? You can show the finger, you can put okay, you can say hey, whatever you want. Okay. An example, please. Okay, okay, Claudia, thank you. Okay, no problem, no problem. We can give an example, okay. Um, my, oh, Gladys. Gladys is raising her hand. I said, Gladys, oh, I want, to, I want to speak. Okay, all right, Gladys. Perfect. So, Gladys, me and you. Me and you are the, are the example. 
Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Gladys. Okay, Gladys. I'm going. I'm. I'm going to give Gladys a profession or a position, and she is going to tell me what kind of personality it should have. Okay. So I'm going to say, for example, a dentist. Mm. Let me think. Um, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, a person that is, uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, who knows how to, to keep people calm, uh, maybe. Okay, this is behavior, right? Now, in this moment, correct. Gladys is describing a behavior. That's one, because yesterday we saw behavior or personalities. Great. Excellent, Gladys. That's one. Describe the behavior. And what kind of personality do they need to be? Um, do they need to have empathy? Do they have to be talkative? Do they have to what, have uh, control? What kind of person do you need? Yes, uh, yes. They they must be uh, I don't know to connect with the person. I don't know how to say. That's that, um, that's that's why we're in class. You if you don't know how to say, you explain with all the other words. Okay, and so they they must connect with the with the patients, mm -hmm. and they must keep them calm and know how to deal when they get oh I don't know like. Um, how can I say it? Uh, ner nervous. Okay. okay, good. Thank you very much, Gladys. Thank you very much. Right? Gladys is right. They need to be able to control themselves and manage stress. And when they get nervous, mm -hmm. because sometimes have an accident, sometimes have an emergency, and the person is suffering. So, thank you, Gladys. That's what we're going to do. If you notice, Gladys. Answers were not one word. It's not, oh, uh, uh, the person needs to, or only have the word uh, professional or, or empathy. No, no, Gladys says, oh, the person needs to. We are, Gladys is using complete sentences. Now, Gladys finished, and then she tells me a profession or position, and I explain to her what type of uh, personality or behavior they need to have. It's okay, the mm -hmm. example? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Then let's make our groups. We're going to have little small groups and we're going to practice. Claudia, is everything okay? Okay, if you have any questions, Claudia, just write to me in the chat. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Miriam. Fine. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. Well, let's see. Let's see. Personality for for a profession. Okay. Um, okay. Should I start? Yeah. Start with a profession, and Miriam and me are going to tell you. Uh, the the uh, behavior. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lawyer. Um, persuasive. Someone who is who is persuasive and also dedicated and e someone that probably is easy for for him for them to concentrate on things. Honestly. Okay. What? Honest. Basically honest. Honest. Yes, honest, I think. 
and yeah. audacious and audacious. Um, mm -hmm. Argumentative and carefree, conscien conscientious. Do, do you have the word? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Carefree, despreocupado. Ajá. Eh, Conciencius, eh, concientudo, ¿verdad? Con, 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 consciente. Eh, na, okay. naive, na, es naive, naive I don't remember. Ah, This word is naive. Yes, yes. It's naive, naive. Ah, naive, ¿qué le era? Ah, naive. Yeah, that you believe, that the people believe anything. <laughs> Naive, yes. naive. Ok, y era, era este cohibido, parece algo así. Naive is like the children, they believe Santa Claus, they believe the, the tooth fairy, they believe whatever you tell them. This is naive. They're like in Spanish, we say ah, okay. in Spanish, we say they are innocent. Pragmatic. Ah, innocent, innocent, yeah. yes. Ingenua, ingenua. Oh, yeah. okay. That's right. Now, Cla Claudia. Claudia and Daniel, in the chat, uh -huh. I, I sent the link for the new vocabulary. There is more vocabulary for description of person in, in the chat here, not in the WhatsApp, in the chat okay. here. Okay, ah, okay. That okay. way, I link. Yes, yes. That way okay. you can, that way you can expand and use more vocabulary, okay? More vocabulary, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, in this moment, I, I look, looking for data. Okay, good. Or share, share that or looking for that? No, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that. Teacher. Uh, yes, Claudia. We, we, can we use other vocabulary? Yes, yes, yes. The idea is to use other vocabulary, to expand okay. the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahorita buscando. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Because when they go to the hearings, probably they have to wait for a while because it may be the hearings can be can be from for at for ten o'clock in the morning, but they started at twelve at noon, so they have to be patient waiting for for eating. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what else. And I and what with what you are doing. In my yes. case, I, I am a teacher. I am a retired teacher. But after I got retired, I kept working, and I'm still working. So uh, I need to talk a lot, and I do. And sometimes I speak too fast with my students, and, and, and this is it. So I'm talking, talking all the time, and making jokes with them, trying. I try to be. The, the pilots speak to the passengers in a point of, of the with the journey, so they must know how to, to talk with the people. And let me see what else. Mm, yes, they, they must be smart and, and serious and professional and polite. And, and handsome yes. too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, they must, they must stay in the, in the cabin, I don't know how to say it. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> For me, it doesn't matter. Okay, what is the other, the other profession? Uh, the other profession is an, an architect. Oh, an architect must be very smart, a very clever person. He must be very... Pequeña, a little girl. Okay, oh, that's right, that's right. I have two daughters. I have two daughters. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, one of one of nine years old and another one six years old. And ah, okay. in, in, in my case, I work for Caja de Crédito de Guayua. I I work I work for Caja de Crédito de Guayua. 
Since, yes, 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 six years ago. No, 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 uh, no, 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 yes, 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 so six, ah, four six years. Exactly. Okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. Since that's when right. you begin and for the amount. Four is always for the quantity. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, same teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. I I I begin I beginning in past beginning teacher? I began. I began uh, in classroom all the time. So I think they cannot be shy. Um, and maybe, okay. Oh, Miriam, it was a good one. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> but we don't have the time. <laughs> Almost, almost. Yeah, it's only to help us review a little bit and to remember. Now, as I said, when is this important? This vocabulary is important when describing people. Do we remember how do we make the questions when we want someone to describe? Do you remember how to ask for the description of? What is someone like? Correct, Maria. What is like? What is exactly. Thank you, Maria. That is correct. Maria, can you give us the examples for what happens if it's plural? What if it's for two people, a man and a woman? How do we make the question? What are they like? Thank you. Very good. Is what is for he and she, but what are for they? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can use the names, right? What are uh, Morena and Eric like? Or what is Gladys like? Or what is uh, Daniel like? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when we use the like, okay, this is when we use the descriptions. Or if you go to an interview or you talk to someone, maybe in the profession, oh, even for the, sometimes they ask you for your job. Oh, what's it like? Um, obviously, it does not have a, a personality, but you can say oh, it's nice, it's uh, friendly, it's because they, when they say, your job or your place is what is the environment this is the this is the meaning of the question okay so as an example morena where do you work i am working in uh doing centros okay. but in central office okay so you work in doing central so if they say oh in doing central what's it like <gasps> ah not not you, but the environment. Ah, it's difficult, it's easy, it's relaxed. We have coffee all day. We, we work a lot. It's <laughs> depend on... Actually, <laughs> Actually, it's stressful. Exactly. It's stressful. Okay. So stressful. Really? Yes, in the centros and... In operative doing centers is it is stressful because it's monotony and we have to to talk with different people and different kind of personalities person and it's difficult okay. maybe you you have to um, to attend um, an angry people uh, friendly people or kindly kind i don't know maybe different personal personalities people okay okay very good thank you thank you morena exactly like that you need to describe the environment the place the things so it's not all in the vocabulary it's not only for individuals it can be used to describe it so, hey, Maria, you are from El Salvador. Oh, what's it like? Ah, they are asking you to describe your country, right? Okay. So, that way we are clear. It's, it's okay how to make the descriptions, how to use the vocabulary? Yes, I guess. 
Okay. There's only one word that I know I heard some of you try to use it and it's still a little confusing. The pronunciation is naive. Naive. This naive. Na so it's nai naive. Eve. Eve. And, and then we we put together naive. 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 All right. Correct. And this is kind of the idea of the person is innocent. The person maybe doesn't have a lot of life experience or they don't understand how things work in, in the real world. They're, it's kind of like a fantasy, like we say with children. They, they believe the things. Mm -hmm. I think that was the only, the only question that I had from the group. But I, in this moment, if there are any questions for pronunciation or words or maybe for the definition, you can ask and I will explain. Um, how do you say uh, when a person is constant, uh, constantly, constant, uh, uh, constant. constant ah, you can say persistent or consistent. It's a little Const consistent. Consistent. Okay. Very good, Miriam. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank only, you. only remember that like a person that is an assistant, like an assistant in an office, but instead of a is con, consistent. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, anything else? Any other words? Okay, great. Then we're gonna continue with today's topic and today's grammar and vocabulary. Uh, um, today we're going to be looking at expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Okay. Do you know what are regrets or hypothetical situations? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, they are like things that could happen, but they are not happening. Okay, good. All right. Very good. That's the hypothetical. They, they could happen, but they, they are not happening. Very good. And then we also have regrets. What, what are regrets? Something that makes make us feel sorry about. Good. That's a good idea. It's something that you're sorry about. Something that maybe you want to change or you didn't want to happen or different. Okay. So here, in the, can everybody see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So here we have expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. We can see that we use a specific word to re express regret, even in positive or in negative. We use the word should. This is like similar to make a recommendation, but this is a recommendation for yourself or for others that you regret that you wish you could change. As an example, in the first one, I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. So the reality is you didn't, the person did not study something practical. Maybe they study something like, I don't know, astronomy or I, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, theology. This is not very practical. Okay, that's, that's the meaning of the first one. In the second sentence, I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. This means the opposite. This means the person took a long, long time to choose a major. What is a major? A major is uh, what you want to study in the university. Eric, can you please use the microphone? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Sorry, I know sometimes it happens. Don't worry. Now, this is the idea for the, I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Remember, the major is a little bit different. Um, it's the same in El Salvador, but the, you know, the structure is different for the university. In El Salvador, you have to decide your major when you begin the career. In other countries, you can decide your major one year later or two years later is not necessary to begin with your major. 
for example, if you don't know what you want to study, you begin studying the university, the general classes, for example, general mathematics or uh, economics or whatever it is, the general topics. And then when you decide, then you have a major. It's okay, the idea of major? Okay. When I read that, I thought they were talking like a major, the one who works in the city hall. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, it's similar. The pronunciation is similar, but the other one in the city hall is with a Y. Mm -hmm. That is with a Y, okay? And then in the second part, we have describing mm -hmm. hypothetical situations. In describing hypothetical situations, you can see that we use the word if. If I had been, if I hadn't been, if I hadn't wasted, and then we use a model. The models are the words that we give like an opinion. I could have, I would have, I should have, I might have. These are, the, the, those words are the models. The could, the might, the may, the should. So how do we describe it? We use the word if. Ah, if I, and here we have to use had because all of this, in these situations, they are in the past tense, okay? That's why we use had. Had indicates the past tense. And in the second part, we use the modal verb with have. Okay? We use would have, could have, but always with the word have. Any questions? Uh, for example, in the case of the use if and the word if, mm -hmm. it is just if or we can use whether. No, you cannot use For whether. For example, we have that. In this no, case, just if. Just if. If is the only possibility for hypothetical okay. situations. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, what is the important from this lesson, from this structure that you need to know? Is that when you express regret, you use should or shouldn't with with have to describe the past. This is should or shouldn't. I should have gone to the party. I should have uh, waited uh, for the tickets, okay? That's should or shouldn't. When describing hypothetical situations is the word, the most important word is if, because this is the if that, ah, I could have done this. I, this is what if I, this is the situation. If I had whatever, as an example, if I had, um, if I had gone to the party, ah, okay. What happens if you go to the party? If you went to the party, oh, I could have met my wife. I would have seen um, a concert. I, I might have found money. This is the different possibilities, but the hypothetical is if, that when you use if, it means that you did not do this action, okay? As an example, if I had not connected last night, ah, because I did connect, okay? So the hypothetical is always the opposite of the reality. Don't worry, we're going to have the opportunity to practice these situations. The important is that first we make sure that it's clear that everybody understands all of them, okay? So how do we have the expressing the regrets, okay? Expressing the regrets, we have should have and past participle. Should have and past. Mm -hmm. So always we're going to have, for example, Maria, Andrea, I, we, my mother, and then should have. Okay, should have, you can have in the long form or you can have in the contraction, should have. If you have in the contraction, is the pronunciation is should have. If you have in the long form, the pronunciation is should have. Okay. Now, as you can see, we use should have to speculate about or imagine things. That means that we use it to Oh, what could have happened? What do you imagine? You are using the imagination. You are thinking, ah, oh, this happened if I do that. Okay. That's the expressing the regret. Any questions for that part?
Nope. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Perfect. Now we have describing the hypothetical situations. Describing the hypothetical situations, we have if and the past. Perfect. Okay. Now, there are other forms, but in this module or in this lesson is only with the past perfect. Okay. So, as an example, if Andrea, if Maria, if I had, and here is the action, if I had visited, gone, eaten, whatever you want, this is the action. And then you talk about what is the effect. So you think of this as here, this is the cause, the if is the cause, and the second part is the effect. So is cause and effect. If I had, okay, if I had eaten sushi, what is the effect? Oh, I would have gotten sick or I could have gotten sick. Okay, because I am allergic to fish, for example. It's Sorry, okay. can you repeat the past perfect? Yes, okay. So the past perfect here in this part, in the if part, is the part where we use the past perfect or we, we use had and the past participle. Okay, that's the past perfect. We use it because this is the cause. If this happens, this is the effect, okay? So is obligation or is necessary this situation for this to happen? It's not that it is not real. It's not that it happens. It's only you use your imagination. Ah, okay. If it's Salvador had an explosion, oh, I would have, I would have gone to another country, I would have uh, stayed home, okay? That's what we use. The cause and what is the effect. Is that, a, is that okay? So, the past perfect is the joining of had and the past participle. Correct. That, okay. is, that is correct. Okay. That is the past perfect. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Here's an example. Okay. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year. So this is the cause. The cause is, the reality is you wasted money. The last year you wasted money. But you imagine, ah, if you didn't waste money, what happened? Ah, if I didn't waste money, I would have bought my own apartment. This is, if I don't waste money, I have an apartment. This is the cause and the effect. Does that make sense? You are imagining what happened for changing the situation or for changing the reality. Let's see, we have another example. Okay, so the reality is you use a lot of money and now you cannot buy your own house or apartment, but you imagine you are regrets. You, exp you are thinking, I, it's bad decision to use the money. Ah, this is where it's if. If I hadn't wasted so much money, uh, then what do you imagine is the consequence? I, I imagine I buy an apartment, so I would have bought an apartment. Does that make sense? Teacher, I yes. have a question. Okay. Uh, when we use would or would? Depends for your opinion. Would is when is the is the, the what you imagine happens this is would or the decision this is would could is for a possibility okay it's a possibility no is no is the final decision okay so as an example um, 
Let's say Marcela. Marcela, where do you work? Where? At, at a school. At a school. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Marcela works at a school. So, imagine she tomorrow they say, oh, Marcela, we have a position for coordinator. Okay. Uh, do you apply, Marcela? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, I will say yes. <laughs> that, that is wood. That is wood because have a decision. Has a decision. The decision is yes. This is wood. But if it's a possibility, ah, I could apply for the position or I could stay in the same position or I could change the schools. These are for options. Could, could are the options. Would is the decision. Is that okay? So, yes, Sarah? Yes, so, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yes. Just, it's, it, it depends on the context. Correct. Correct. It depends on your decision. Because if your decision is final or you have your decision, is would. If you are not decided and only thinking of the possibilities, is could. It's good. Okay. Okay. So, Eric, are you married? Yes, I am. Okay. Eric, if you have the opportunity to marry again, to remarry, okay, do you marry your wife again? I would marry with her again. Yes. Yes. This is the decision. Yes, I would marry with her again. Excellent, Eric. Congratulate. This is yes. yes, Maria. Exactly. I would this. I would marry her. That's exactly correct. So many times, naturally, you use it and you don't realize because naturally you already think, ah, yes, I, I would. Yeah. Uh huh. But she should be beside him. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But maybe Eric had a possibility, Mary. Maybe Eric had the possibility to marry, I don't know, I, uh, um, Shakira or something. Like Eric one day had, and he said, oh, <laughs> I, I could, one time, one time, I could have, I could have been Shakira's husband. It's possibility. It's not the reality. It's possibility. Okay, that is okay, the thing. For example, some, mm -hmm. pe some people get married again when they get, 25 or 50 years uh, old or 50 years of being together mm -hmm. so they remarry so if I have the possibility I would I could that marry with her again to celebrate oh. our, 50, our our 25 years exactly it's a possibility so for this is I could marry her again or maybe I could go on vacation I could talk a honeymoon Okay. It's okay? A second honeymoon. Yes. A second honeymoon. A second it's okay. Honeymoon. All right. Heidi, where do you work? Okay. Don't worry, Heidi. It's a secret. It's, it's no problem. No, don't. <laughs> it's no problem. Don't worry. All right. So, and what about we continue we try with the other so the idea is we are looking at the possibilities relax Heidi it's okay it's no problem don't be embarrassed it happens is the internet relax is the internet affect the camera the internet affect the camera hello Wait. hello hi you Heidi. I can hear you yes okay um I'm work in the bank okay and Heidi if you could have another job or work in a different place, where where do you want to work? Um, maybe a wolf and um, a nurse. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Now, thank you, Heidi. This is the example because Heidi says maybe, but it's her decision. So I would, I would be a nurse. I would. Uh huh. I would work in a hospital. I would work. This is for the decision. 
but maybe in Heidi's job in the bank have different positions and they say okay Heidi we have three positions which do you want ah I could be uh, assistant to the manager I could be a sales representative or I could I don't know the other positions but this is for the options not for Heidi's decision it's okay Heidi yes okay I All right. okay perfect now I think I, I hope it's clear for everyone it is it's okay for everyone Yes, it is. Okay, because yes. okay. now we're going to go to our partners and in our groups, we are going to practice making these regrets or these conditionals, right? We are going to practice talking about these situations, okay? What would you, what would be a regret or a hypothetical situation, okay? You can talk about your job, about your life. No, estamos todos. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, hi. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Relax. <laughs> like, imagine Roxana. Roxana looks like a very happy person. Roxana, are you a happy person? Yes, I am. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Roxana, do you remember the last time you were angry? Angry. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, I am a very happy person. I'm very happy. But I angry yesterday. Okay, what happened, Roxana? <laughs> I prefer don't say it. Okay. <laughs> no, but it's not like angry, like very mad or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I'm, I usually are like a happy person. So when I get some inconvenient inconvenient uh, mm -hmm. yeah it my face show that instantly maybe it's not a big deal but uh, my face is changed <laughs> my face change okay all right this is this is what we use the regrets for right if and then the situation if i hadn't you know, seen the person, if I hadn't gone to the store, if I, I don't know, but imagine Roxana was angry because she had a problem in the store, okay? Ah, if I hadn't bought the product, I wouldn't be angry. That's how we use it, and that's what we're going to practice. We only have a few minutes, but it's okay, it's important to practice, All right? Are we ready? Okay. Uh, any questions or it's okay the examples? I guess we're okay. All right, let's go for it. Okay. Hello. Who's coming? Hello? Hello? Did you listen? Yes. Okay. Hello. I'm the last part. Oh, Heidi. Uh, Hello? Hello, Heidi. It's okay. See, yeah. Do you listen to him? Yes. I, for me, it's yes. okay. Yes. For me, it's okay. okay. What will be the first example? Okay, let me think. I should have. Um, I should have slept more uh, yesterday. <laughs> more. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at it like cause and effect, okay? Like a cause and effect, not only a regret. So we say, if I had 
slept more yesterday. What is the, that is the cause? What would be the effect? I wouldn't be so tired today. Exactly, exactly. I wouldn't be because that means that today you are tired. Yeah. Is that, is that correct? Correct, teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now my turn. If I had saved money last year, I could have traveled this year. But probably not, but the pandemic. <laughs> 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 But it's just an example. But it's just the example, exactly. But I'm glad. <laughs> good, good. You understand. You understand. Excellent. Okay. So I can say if I had exer if no, if I had exercised more during this pandemic, I would have Really good apps. <laughs> correct. Yes, that is correct. Exactly. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Um, I have. Yes. Uh, I have. I had it. For politics, I I will I will have a lot of money too. Yes. Yes. For an other example, if mm -hmm. I uh, hadn't eaten so much, uh, I could I would have no I could ah I could have uh, no I could lost lost weight if I Having uh, eaten so much, mm -hmm. I could lose weight. Si yo hubiera mm -hmm. <laughs> comido menos, ¿verdad? Algo así. Yo uh -huh. eh, hubiera perdido peso. Ajá. Ah, okay. <laughs> teacher, do you uh -huh. have a, teacher, do you have a, a, a lot of a lot of example for that? Okay, yes, only, sorry, I wanted to clarify for Claudia. Oh, sorry, Claudia. Uh, sir, if I hadn't uh, eaten or I hadn't cooked or the different, whatever you want, the verb is correct. If I hadn't eaten so much, then is necessary, not only I have, is, is necessary, I would have. I would have lost weight. I, I, would, will, huh? I would have looked skinnier. Uh, I would have... Uh, no. mm -hmm. This no, is no, I could lose exactly. No, I would lost weight exactly. Is uh, I would have the I reason, have lost. yes. The reason is because have indicate the action in the past. Uh -huh, okay, if the action is yes, not yes. In, not in the past, then we use the verb normal. I would lose weight. So, I the have is obligation for the person to understand is the past. If you say lose, uh, I understand in the present. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, now we can practice with regret. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I should have a study um ah. I should have studied English for more time. Excellent. When I was when I was a child. Correct. Okay, Daniel, try a regret. Okay. Um, and I and I if I if I study for a pilot, I I. I will, I could, I could fly for a lot of, or oh, I could now a lot of places and countries. Almost correct, almost correct, Daniel. Remember is I could have known a I lot of places. Have. I could have flown to a lot of places. It's very good, but it's necessary to have. I could have, I, 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 
I could have, este, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Primero es lo que, lo, si yo hubiera hecho esto, yes. yo hubiera obtenido, hubiera sido, hubiera Correct. esto. Pues vaya, el, primer, el primero va en pasado. Uh -huh. uh, uh, if I had, Correct. if I had uh, something. Anything, if I had. Anything, anything, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I could have, I, I in present. Cor no, is for oh, the perfect. I could have. A, I could have uh, now. Now a lot of places. Correct, because is I could have, and then the past participle. I could have known a lot of places. I could have gone to a lot of places. I could have visited. Is any verb, but is the uh, verb uh, is past I could participle. Have, I could have, and uh, the verb is in part participle. Or, yes, yes. I could, I could have uh, uh, now in past and uh, now, now. Known with N, with N. I could have known. Known, known mm -hmm. a lot of places. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay. okay teacher, uh, teacher this, this yes. example, uh, I shouldn't have hidden uh, my sister for a long time when I was a child. Repeat one more I time. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Hidden, hidden no, pegar. no, this is the past participle is the same. I shouldn't have hit. Ah, I shouldn't have hit. Correct. The to my sister for a long time when I or, was a child. Yes, that is correct. That is the regret. Okay. Okay, good. When I was in college, or mm -hmm. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. So the next, the, the third that is in past participle is the next thereafter have. But I'm not sure if we could use have in past. Teacher, are you there? I am here. I am here, Eric. It's you use have in the past participle. Uh, the reason you use have is to indicate the action is in the past. Okay. So, uh, for example, you say I should so have. So we can we can use had. No, uh, had is with the first part. If you use had, but not with should. For example, if I had gone, if I had visited, if I had. But in the second part, with should or with could, you use have. Okay. Okay. So the easy way to remember is okay. the, the part with if, the if is the part that you have had. Okay. Okay. But, but not when, when we are expressing regrets. Correct. Not when you are expressing regrets. Okay, that was clear. Good, good. You see, Marcela, I told you always, always, Roxana is smiling. Look, look, look at the video. Is smiling. Never stop. Look, medium two, medium another happy. Yours always, always is smiling. I don't know. It's raining. It's, it's pandemic. It's, ah, it's what is that? And what? And what? Life is good. Let, yeah, life is good. And let life be life. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right, right, Marcela? That's right. That's why we have friends with Rosanna. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, uh, it, it is time for us to finish, but we tomorrow we have class because we didn't have class on Monday. So only this week, only this week we have class tomorrow. <laughs> it's only this week because of Monday. But I encourage you to please look at the videos and continue on the platform because tomorrow we are going to finish this unit and begin unit two. And it's it's easier to understand if you watch the videos before because then you have a better comprehension of what is the topic and how to use it. Okay? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. Thank you.
Bye. 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 Bye.